Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be adding a solar panel to my big ute. Now I love my ute, except one problem is I don't use it every day. I only use it when I'm transporting heavy goods, picking up stuff from Bunnings, that sort of stuff. So I have, this is a CTEC free. It's a charging kit and it maintains my batteries for when I don't use it for long periods of time. However, the only problem is, is that you need to always have it plugged into power if you're leaving it for extended periods of time because, you know, it's only got 60 watt hours of power in there. If we're not plugged in, it's gonna run out of juice. So I have right here, this is a CTEC solar power, 60 watt solar power. So in one hour, you could fully charge this CS3 if we have sunlight. And luckily I'm in Australia and it's not raining, so this should work really well. So it's a beautiful solar power kit. Looks like a A2 big booklet, very easy to transport. You also get a carry case and cabling to convert the solar panels inputs into USB-C. And that USB-C can plug straight into this port right here. So straight away, you can see that it's flashing because it's showing that the solar panel is actually already working and it's trickle charging it up. But what I wanna do now is I'm gonna pop up the hood, plug it in to the battery, trickle charge it up and see how long it lasts. I'm thinking if it lasts more than a couple of days, if it lasts a week, that's gonna be awesome because it's gonna mean that it's working. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just hook up my multimeter and I can see that it's 12.07. So it's 12 volts, but as you can see, it needs a bit of charging. So it's good to have the CS3 plugged in. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the CS3. I'm gonna start charging up the battery. And you can see that it's on the start. That's gonna start hovering, fading in and out. And that means it's gonna start the power boost adaptive charge cycle. That's perfect. But in order to maintain this battery, because we're using this battery to start charging up this battery, we're gonna plug in the solar panel. So you get a nice long cable here. That's the USB. I plug the USB in. That's there. So I've got a solar panel just there on the ground there, coming in to my CS3. Gonna let that do its business. It's charging away, so that's good. And I'll leave this for a couple of hours. All right, so it's now been a couple of hours since we last used it. You can see here that the CS3 is out of battery and it's just charging up using the solar panel. That's what that blinking light is. And this guy's still charged in. So what I wanna check now is to see if it's actually still charging the main car battery while the solar panel is charging the CS3. So I've got my multimeter here and the voltage right now is 13 volts. And if I take off the clamps, the voltage is 12.9. So there is charge being pushed from the solar panel to the CS3 straight onto the battery. I think what it is, is pushing the solar panel charge straight to the battery until the battery is going to be fully charged. That's why it's just on one bar here on the CS3 because it's not giving enough voltage for the CS3 itself to charge. It's just going straight to the car battery. So I guess once the car battery is fully charged, that's when the CS3 might start pumping up. I'll have to check back in another couple of hours to see how it's progressing. But so far, that's pretty good. Even though the battery has been discharged, it's still pumping a little bit of charge into the car battery. Let's give it a couple of hours and see how it progresses. So it's now been another couple of hours. As you can see, the battery is still charging via the solar panel. However, the percentage level of the battery is very minimal. So it's not actually charging the battery. It's still charging the car battery. So let's hook up the multimeter and see what the levels are. So it looks like the battery has settled at 12.87 volts. So I'm guessing it's fully charged. I don't know for certain, I don't really have a battery tester, but according to the multimeter, it's over 12 volts, so that's good. The actual charger itself, the CTEC free, that guy is at minimum battery level, but it is flashing to indicate the solar panel is still charging it. And it should charge in about an hour because it's 60 watt solar panel in idle conditions, of course, and 60 watts about there. So um, be interesting to see a longer test, maybe 24 hours. All right, it's now the next day mid midday it's around 12 and you can see here that it's actually starting to charge the second bar of the battery so now the car battery is fully charged the solar panel over here is actually charging the battery of the cs3 so that's that's good so it took a bit longer than i thought it would it took about 24 hours obviously you don't get that much sun anyway so yeah it took 
took a bit longer, but it is actually charging the CS3 and it did fully charge that. So that is that is a win. So this is the solar panel for the CTEC 3. Got it right here. Now the great thing about this fella is that it says it can charge your CS3 in one hour. It's a 60 watt solar panel and this is about 60, just 63 watt hours of power so you can charge your cs3 in one hour and you can charge and maintain your vehicle so that's why i want it inside the box you get solar panels you get the converter cable and you also get the carry pouch so let's open her up c-tech very fancy box configuration nice packaging so the solar panel itself is pretty lightweight can carry easily one hand and around the back of the carry pouch you do get an extra zip to store your cables. And this is the solar panel itself. It's kind of like a big A2 size book. You open it up like that and look at all that beautiful power. And very flexible. It's kind of nice. The cable's here. So I guess when you are charging, you just move the cable out of the way. And pretty much easy as is. This case actually also doubles up as a stand. So if you open it, but I'm just going to use it as a flat pack straight up. So this solar panel just has the standard solar panel connections, but you are also given this adapter and this rates power 60 watts maximum and the input is 10 to 25 DC volts. So this solar panel will handle that and it's only to be used with CTEC devices. So what you do is on the end, you get USB and on the in is the two connectors, connect these connectors up, plug and play. So now the solar panel is pushing all of the power. It's getting converted into a suitable charge. And with the CS3, pretty cool just having a small foldable solar panel. So if worst thing does come to the worst, you can even charge it up. Or if you just want to trickle charge your car throughout long periods of time, if you're not using it, especially for over two weeks, if you don't use your, your car, you can get problems with your battery. And these are lead acid batteries, so they don't like to be discharged too much they discharge too much they can permanently fail so having this kind of system for long-term use sounds like a good idea to me let me know your experiences and what kind of charges you guys are using out there in the world hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show <laughs>